So if you've ever loaded up a game and set the settings as how's they go and wondered why the image can look kind of blurry, um, it's probably because of the game's implementation of anti-aliasing. So many like uh, modern games use something like SMAA or TXAA, which uh, does a great job of reducing the jagged edges or that sort of um, stair-stepping effects that you, you see on straight lines. Uh, but it's got the side effect of making the image appear softer or slightly blurry. So luckily you can mitigate this sort of softer image by using GeForce Now to apply a sharpening filter, which will kind of noticeably improve the image quality, um, but it doesn't take a hit to your frame rate. It's uh, really useful if you want to lower the game's resolution and help maintain a clear image at the same time. So many modern games have a render resolution option, which tell the game to render at a lower or higher resolution than your monitor's native resolution, which can really impact the frame rate. So for example, you could run a game at 720p on a 1080p monitor, which will give you better frames. Um, and then you can use this, this sharpening filter to help maintain the image clarity at the same time. So let's take a look at how we do that now. So download and install NVIDIA GeForce Experience. And the first thing we need to do is enable the in-game overlay. Click on the settings icon over here. And under general, you need to enable in-game overlay. So make sure that this is ticked to the right. And uh, the shortcut to open up the overlay is Alt-Z. And uh, we'll need that for once you get in-game to enable the sharpening filter. Okay, so now we're in-game. The first thing we want to make sure is that anti-aliasing is enabled. So we go to Options, Graphics, and scroll down to anti-aliasing. Uh, Filmic SMAA is on. And now we want to open up the GeForce Experience overlay. So we do that by pressing Alt-Z and we go down to the bottom left here game filter the shortcut for that is alt f3 and we click on that and we select style number one and click on add filter now you want to scroll down to sharpen here it is and uh, you'll get a couple of options here I, th I think the default uh, is something like 50 or something um, a good setting that i like to do is 25 um, and turn ignore film grain down to 0% because it's not needed. So this can be tweaked depending on the game and the method of anti-aliasing used. Um, I find that if you're running native resolution then you might only need sort of 10 to 25% sharpening to mitigate the image softness. But uh, if you're running at a lower rendering resolution combined with AA then you can set it a lot higher sometimes. Um, so for example on Modern Warfare, I actually I run it on 80% resolution quite often to get that frame rate increase. And then I set the sharpening to around 60% and it doesn't seem to look too over sharpened. But if I were to set the resolution to native and use uh, something like 60% sharpening, it would uh, look over sharpened and uh, it wouldn't look good at all. But you can tweak this yourself until you get a balance of uh, image quality and sharpness without things being too blurry. Um, and just find something that you're comfortable with. So once you're done, just need to hit escape and escape again. And that's all you need to do. Now, every time you load up your game, hopefully it'll enable automatically, but if it doesn't, you can hit Alt F3 and it'll pop up the menu and you can make sure that Sharpen is enabled and you can adjust right here. And uh, there you go. Now, if you're lucky, some developers, are, they're starting to include sharpening filters in the in-game options, which is fantastic. So you don't even have to use a sharpening filter like in GeForce. Um, Doom, 20, not 2016, Doom Eternal has uh, a sharpening filter built into the options menu. Uh, where is it? Filter videos, sharpening, there we go. Um, and yeah, you can crank that. I This tends to be one of the games that I like to put it up higher in compared to Call of Duty. And uh, that really helps get rid of the blurriness of the uh, anti-aliasing. Oh yeah, it looks like you can't even control the anti-aliasing on this one. So <laughs> if you're worried that the game looks too blurry, sharpening feels is built right in. Um, so there you go. If uh, if it turns out you can't use GeForce Experience or uh, yeah, using an AMD card, you can use a program called Reshade. But um, the installation of that would probably be a different video. And uh, Reshade will give you uh, sharpening filters along with a bunch of other filters as well. Uh, stuff that you can mess around with. But um, anyway, that's all for today. So uh, if you enjoyed the video, please uh, subscribe and uh, I'll see you in the next one.